Don't worry, dear. Suicide is not in his repertoire. He's far too fond of himself for that. Holmes! Oh. Good afternoon. I was trying to introduce the manner in which Blackwood survived his execution. Clearing all good names that were. But it had a surprisingly soporific effect on, and it was carried off in the arms of Morpheus, like a caterpillar in a cocoon. Good afternoon, dear. Get on with it, Holmes. Um, cleverly concealed in the hangman's knot was a hook. Dear, I think, I think my legs have fallen asleep. I should probably come down. John, shouldn't we help him down? No, no, no. I hate to cut him off midstream. Carry on. Um, well, the executioner attached it to a harness, thus allowing the weight to be distributed around the waist and the neck to remain intact. Oh, my Lord, I can't feel my cheeks. Might, might we continue this uh, at ground level? How did you manage it, Holmes? I managed it with braces, belts, and a coat hook. Oh, please, Watson, my tongue is going. I'll be of no use to you at all. Worst things could happen. John. Yeah, <clears throat> none of this explains Blackwood's lack of pulse. Right. <laughs> now, the medical mystery. We must restore your reputation, Watson. There is a toxin refined from the nectar of the rhododendron ponticum. It's quite infamous in the region of Turkey, bordering the Black Sea, for its ability to induce an apparently mortal paralysis. Enough to mislead a medical mind, even as tenacious and well trained as your own. It's known locally as. What's wrong with Gladstone? Mad honey disease. Well, he's um, demonstrating the very effect I've just described. Here's mine. Mary, don't worry, he's seen far worse. Charles? Doctor, Miss Mary. Sir Inspector Lestrade asked that you come with me right away. What is it this time, Clarky? It's one of our sergeants, sir. He went missing in the sewers the day you stopped Lord Blackwood. I'm afraid sewage workers found his body just this morning, sir. We believe the sergeant was our first man on the scene. Can I help you, officer? Shot in the head. What's such a small caliber bullet? Yes. The powder burns on his eyebrows. Indeed, sir. Point blank range. Moriarty. Professor Moriarty. There's a good boy. Everything's gonna be fine. Where is Blackwood's device now? Secret Service have it, sir. They've taken over the case. I'd wager this abuse missing. So Moriarty was after a piece of the machine. Not the poison. There's nothing more elusive than an obvious fact. The wire free invention was the game all along. And Adler was just the diversion. He knew I'd chase after her, thereby leaving the machine accessible. A technology of that kind would be worth an untold fortune. Imagine being able to control any device simply by sending a command via radio waves. It's the future, Watson. I've loaded the last of your boxes, sir. Gladstone! Stop him before he gets to the front door. Clarky. Case reopened. 